What's going on everybody? Got a little comparison for you today. So what I want to do is go over and show you the differences between the standard 6-hour P320 and the 6-hour P320 M17. Uh, this is the commercial variant. So to get the formalities out of the way, this model you see here is the P320 M17. So this is the civilian version of the United States military's M17. Uh, for reference purposes, this is called the P320 M17. Uh, I'm just going to call it the M17 just to shorten things up. Pretty simple, but <laughs> whatever works, right? So I just want to go over the two, show you what the M17 has that the P320 doesn't, and see whether or not the differences are worth the, uh, the money. So let's get right into it. Right here is a standard SIG P320. Uh, the gun itself uh, has been m widely popular. This gun has been exploding in sales, and of course, with its adoption of the U.S. military, it's just gotten even even more pronounced. So, going over it, uh, this one specifically is all black. It has the medium grip module on it. Uh, if you don't like the medium grip module, they do sell them in a large and a small. They ship factory with the medium, uh, as well as uh, different colors. So let's say you don't like the color, uh, you simply take this uh, locking or, uh, take down lever out and boom, you can swap it into a new gun, so or a new frame, sorry. So just going over the basic features, uh, this is the standard model with these standard three dot sights. These are not night sights. Uh, the P320 is available with, uh, with the Sig Light night sights, should you so choose, or if you want to change them out for something else, you absolutely can. It's all black. They do ship it in other colors as well. Pretty standard layout, front cocking serrations, five slot Picatinny rail for whatever your lights, lasers, accessories. Standard capacity magazines are 17 rounds. Uh, these ones specifically are 10, just because that's the way Canadian laws are. Um, that's that. Let's go over some of the features here for you, give you a close up. Now, <clears throat> let's go over what the M17 has that the P320 doesn't. So the M17 is the, the, the winner of the modular handgun program. This is old news, this is nothing new. Anybody in the gun community would probably know this at this point. So what I'm gonna show you is just the differences. So biggest difference obviously right off the bat is the color. So the M17 ships with the FDE grip module and the Coyote Tan uh, finish on the slide. Now a common complaint uh, about the M17 uh, is the finish on the slide, is that it just doesn't hold up. Now this gun has got 1100 rounds through it. This one's got about 2700. Uh, and these guns are holstered regularly, they're shot regularly. Like I, I absolutely love the P320 series. Most of you who know me know I'm a Beretta guy. I always have and always will be, but I, I love the SIG 320 series. But if we get up close, you, know, can, you can see some holster wear right here. I've been shooting this gun for about two months. A little bit of scratching right there. More holster wear up front, wear from where it's wearing on the frame. Um, and I, I, I can agree to the, the fact that the finish is not holding up. It's not a very good finish on, on the slide uh, compared to what you see on this P320 where you can just barely see a little bit of holster wear. Aside from that, it's got very little in the way of scratches, nicks, dings, kind of thing. Now that being said, this M17, I bought this as a shooter. If you want a collectible model, you'd be better off to go with the commemorative edition, which is like the real deal, legit M17 that the army bought. This is the civilianized version of it, but it's kind of whatever you want. Uh, it, now the uh, commemorative is also substantially more expensive. Now, uh, let's get into the features. So one is the color, obviously. Uh, two is the M17 ships with the Sig Light night sights. So there's three dots, they're all green. All three dots are green. Uh, they are the, uh, as you can see, three dot sights. Uh, the rear sight is mounted on a, uh, uh, a sight plate. So um, the M17, uh, as part of the MHS requirement, what needed to be compatible with a red dot, which I believe for the military is gonna be the loophole delta point. Um, I'm pretty sure that's it. Don't quote me on that. If I'm wrong, somebody in the comments will correct me. Um, but basically, you can take this plate off, which also takes off the rear sight, and you can mount your red dot. Now, SIG is uh, going to be shipping out or selling adapt, not shipping out, sorry, selling uh, adapter plates. So if you want to put something like the SIG's red dot, the, Rome the Romeo 1, I think it's called, um, you can do that as well. 
So that's one of the differences is that it has the sight plate and the factory night sights. Now the P320 does, uh, there are models that do ship optics ready. So they have the same thing. They have the sight plate, uh, should you so choose. Per, uh, I gotta be real with you guys. I don't, I don't generally run red dots on pistols. I, I like iron sights. I, I always think of a pistol as a backup weapon. Uh, a red dot is just kind of an added logistic for me. That's just, I personally don't feel necessary. Uh, continuing our way on the firearm. So you'll see up front here, the frame is actually cut. It's cut down. So it's only a three slot Picatinny rail. Uh, which uh, the dust cover doesn't extend to the end of the slide, where on the standard P320 it does. Now, to be 100% honest, I have no idea why that is. I, I don't know why they didn't extend it to the end of the frame. Uh, there, I'm assuming there's a reason for it. If somebody knows, again, they'll sound off in the comment section. Uh, but personally, I like the look of it. Like, I, I actually think this looks better than this. But it's all, it's all personal preference. But that is, that is something to note, that the, the frame is shortened. Uh, SIG calls it their carry grip module. So the, it is actually shortened for a reason. Um, again, I don't know why, but I, I, you could make the argument just to save that extra little bit of weight. I really don't know. Uh, working our way back. Uh, so the M17, one of the biggest things that it has on it is the safety. So the M17 does have a fully functional safety. Uh, it is a trigger safety. So actually, I guess I should safety check that before I start touching the trigger, right? Eh? Got to keep everybody happy. So um, it does have a fully functional safety. So when the safety is clicked on, the trigger can't be pulled. Now the pistol itself, it is a safe action pistol. Um, it's designed not to go off. Now when the original P320s came out, they did have some drop safety issues. That's long since been rectified. Um, so the safety is more just for a trigger thing. It is a DOD requirement. Um, I'm assuming it's just because the army doesn't trust its soldiers. Uh, it's kind of a moot point in my opinion personally, but I mean... You got to get, you got to give the guy, the taxpayer, well, not the taxpayers, the taxpayers didn't get what they wanted. Um, <laughs> you got, you got to give the, the R and D guys what they want. So, uh, the thing with the safety, now there's one thing I actually really like about this safety. One is its positioning. So if I, uh, if I'm going to grab here, so right here, I've got my Safari land ALS holster. Uh, these are my favorite types of holsters. They are active retention with the locking tab here. Now, this holster is built specifically for the P320. This is not meant for the M17. However, if I flick the safety on here, you can see it locks in and fits just fine. Everything, everything still fits perfectly with, with the safety on or off. Now, the thing I like about the ALS style holsters with this gun is when Stig, Sig designed the safety, they didn't design it as an afterthought. It was put there intentionally, which as much as it's going to pain me to say is far superior to that of the Beretta 92. Now, again, I'm a Beretta guy tried and true, but I'm going to tell you right now, this is so much better than what the 92 series offers. But the thing I like about it is when uh, the army has actually adopted a holster similar to this. So it's the ALS SLS. So it has the ALS locking mechanism, but it's also got the hood, the SLS hood that goes over top. So you'd flick the hood down and then hit the retention. Uh, uh, the ALS retention. The thing I like about it is when I go to draw, so my hand will grab it and naturally, the thing with the ALS holsters is it's all natural. You would naturally grab it right like that. My thumb lands right on the, the retention device. So what I'm doing, I'm pushing it down and drawing and as I'm drawing, my thumb immediately lands on that safety. So as I'm drawing and completing my draw, I click the safety off and I'm good to go. So you could always carry the gun chambered with the safety on and with an ALS style holster, you're in, you're intuitively turning the safety off, which I think is a great feature. Magazines. So the magazine, same thing. It's a 17 rounders, 10 in Canada. Uh, they also, you can get the 21 rounders. So you so choose. And another feature I forgot to mention while looking at the slide is this does have a loaded chamber indicator. Uh, or I guess like you call it chamber flag is what you could call it. So basically when there's a chambered round, that's going to stick up like that. Now, when you're aiming down sights, you don't see it. It does not in any way, shape or form, uh, obscure your vision on your sights. It, it, it is there. It, it's visual and it's tactile. You can feel it. So you'll, you'll, if you're in a low light situation, you can just go like that and you, you'll feel that thing sticking up. Uh, if you don't like that, it is very easy to remove. No big deal. Now, for those of you who don't like the color, let's say the, uh, uh, the tan isn't for you. They ship the M17 in two different models as well. So they ship one, uh, is without the safety. So if you don't like that safety, you can actually buy this pistol without the safety. 
Um, I bought it with the safety. I, you know, I'm, I, I'm going to be real with you guys. I, I like to collect. I like to shoot. So, and I, I kind of wanted the Army's gun, and this was the affordable way to go. So that's what I did. But uh, it, it's, it's all personal opinion. It's all what you want. Remember, you're the customer, and you're always right. Uh, and then the other one that they sell is what's called the M17 Bravo. Now, the M17 Bravo is the SIG M17 with the safety, the sights, the everything like that. But it's in black. So you'll get this gun in this style of color. So SIG's been doing a good job. They're listening to their customers. People wanted the Army's gun, and now they're able to get it. Uh, I think that's great. And to be truthful with you, I friggin' love this gun. I love shooting this gun. I, I hate saying it because I, I, I absolutely adore my, my Beretta APX, but this gun is so comfortable, it's so reliable, it's so ergonomic, it's just an awesome, fun gun to shoot. Every time I take this out, I have fun. And that's the biggest thing. So to close it out, uh, the biggest, now the biggest thing is the pricing. So this is, this is probably where it's gonna deter you from this. So I bought this uh, P320 for uh, $640 plus uh, applicable taxes. This gun I bought for $890 plus applicable taxes. So the real question you, you need to ask yourself is, is this worth $240 over this? Now, obviously pricing does change. These have actually gone up in price a bit. So of these from what I've seen. Um, so you got to kind of deal with the fact of, you know, price fluctu fluctuation, especially here in Canada with the way the Canadian dollar is. Um, but that's the thing is you got to ask is, is this worth the extra price range in the States? I honest, I honestly don't know if you live in the United States, I don't know what the pricing difference is on these, but I can almost guarantee you this is more expensive than that. So what you need to ask yourself is, is it worth the extra money? Now, if you're asking me, uh, I would say yes. I mean, like with the safety, the, the night sights, the chamber flag, I feel that you are getting your money's worth out of it. Um, but that's just my opinion. So it, it's really up to you guys. What do you guys think? Do you think the M17 is worth the money or should you just stick with the standard uh, P320? Uh, let me know in the comment section down below. And thanks everybody for watching. I will see y'all next time.